Is the energy in New York when you come to the U.S. Open different from other tournaments? Yeah, it's much different. The atmosphere, the energy um, at, over there is amazing. You know, the, the center court can have 23,000 people and screaming fans. It's amazing. I, I love it here, and it's uh, definitely a special time of year. That was just part of my conversation yesterday with Caroline Wozniacki, ranked 11th in women's tennis. As yes, Anthony, she is just as beautiful in real life, too, if you're wondering. <laughs> you're trying to read my mind. <laughs> the U.S. Open kicks off Monday here in New York, and once again, the competition is fierce. CBS Sports is once again bringing you the tournament, and here to talk about the top players to watch is Taylor Dent, U.S. Open tennis analyst for the CBS Sports Network. Good morning, Taylor. Morning. We, well, I mean, there's, there's one notable admission at this tournament particularly, right? I mean, the men's draw. We have no Rafael Nadal. What is that going to mean? Well, it means a lot, and especially it means a lot to Roger Federer. Um, you know, you look at the top guys who have been winning all the Grand Slams lately, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, Andy Murray. <laughs> Without Nadal, Federer's coming into this tournament actually looking like the favorite. He's right. had the best summer. Andy Murray's been a little up and down. Novak Djokovic has not looked impressive. So. I mean, it puts Federer in the lead, in my opinion. Which is funny, because you didn't think Federer was a factor really anymore. I will. I don't think that I was alone in saying that he wasn't a factor. I think he could always have the potential to get deep in Grand Slams, but I just thought there was too many guys ahead of him that were beating him too often for him to actually secure another Grand Slam title, but now it's not the case. Well, tell us about those other guys. Who are some of the dark horses we could see? Well, you know, the guys that have been doing well lately. You know, Milos Raonic has looked really, really good. Uh, Dimitrov has looked better, even though, you know, Dimitrov record at uh, you know, US Open isn't spectacular. Um, and there's a couple others. You know, Songa's had a great summer. Uh, you got to the finals in, in you know, a couple tournaments ago. And Burdich is always dangerous. So you have a handful now uh, that are you know, just probably below Federer and Djokovic. There's only one American among the seeds, John Isner. Is there an American resurgence around the corner here among the men? You, you hear a lot of talk about it. You know, we have a few American juniors that are doing really well. Uh, you know, Stefan Kozlov, he's, he's been doing well. And then you've got, you know, uh, Noah Rubin who got to the finals. But, you know, the, the active men that are out there, we're talking about uh, Steve Johnson and Jack Sock. I think Steve Johnson's actually got a good shot to do well here. He's uh, in a very favorable bracket. He's mm -hmm. beaten the couple of seeds who are around him. Um, but, you know, and, and John Isner, he's always got a chance to go deep just because he's, he's beat, he can beat anybody on a day. Let's yeah. talk about the women. Everybody loves watching Serena, but I think everyone sort of acknowledges she's either all in or sometimes she's all out. What do you think her chances are? That's it. I mean, who knows? Yeah. If she comes to play and she's playing good tennis, she's the one to beat because she's head and shoulders above the rest. But if she's not, she's been losing early. You know, she hasn't had a great year by her standards. And then that brings into the you know, picture the rest of the field. So, mm -hmm. it, But it depends if she shows up or not. Caroline Wozniacki coming and talking to, to Vanita said New York is special. How is New York different as, a, as an arena? Yeah, I, I believe that every Grand Slam brings its own energy. Uh, you know, first slam of the year, Australia, it's almost like a very happy party atmosphere. It has been for years. And then you go to the French Open, and, you know, the crowd loves to uh, definitely cheer, and, and, but they're, they're not afraid to heckle. You know, they'll, they'll get on you <laughs> if they don't agree with what it you're doing. It isn't pretty sometimes on center court. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then Wimbledon almost has this quiet energetic buzz going on very respectful but you can always hear the hum of the crowd and then as soon as a good points played it just erupts and it's exciting but uh u.s open is rambunctious it's a party out there and they you know definitely makes it feel like uh, they want to see a battle you know so it's almost like you're in, a, in an arena you got two five, gladiators yeah. yeah going to war so it's definitely taylor Dent. Exciting. thank you so much for being with us this morning and we'll see what happens Appreciate it. CBS Sports Live coverage of U.S. Open Tennis begins Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, and next Saturday here on CBS This Morning. More of Vanita's interview with Caroline Wozniacki.